hey, my name is Augie and this is my first ever YouTube video, so please be nice to me. <laughs> uh, I'm an artist and today I'm going to be taking you through the process of uh, this uh, list hair in old tiny clothes. Okay, so these are my references. I googled for specifically uh, pre-French Revolution garments because they're just like so um, over the top. <laughs> And I just really love this embroidery that's going on like on the waistcoat and like on this coat. I don't really know um, the specific words in, in fashion. <laughs> don't come at me. Um, yeah, and here we have some references for the hair. And this dude has seen some stuff. Hairs are like scary animals. Um, but yeah, let's get to drawing. I like the idea of him being some sort of a list keeper, and I liked his posture being very upright. He takes his job very seriously, and he sees himself as very important doing it. I like to start out by doing a very gestural drawing, and then uh, refining it and refining it. For this particular painting, I didn't need to uh, refine it quite as much. It was pretty much there, um, almost from the start, but sometimes I have to do like three or four takes for one drawing. I was having some trouble trying to decide which uh, colors he should wear. Um, this is the original, or based on the original anyway, um, and I really liked it. Uh, this is a slightly bluer version, I don't even know if that reads on camera. Um, but then I also had a purple one and a green one, and they're both a bit more saturated, and uh, I asked my friends and they all preferred the purple one, so let's go with that. So now that we know which colors he should be, we can start blocking in the local color. Local color is a color that's uh, unaffected by light and shadow, like uh, purple, for example, that's going to be on his coat. Uh, purple in light will turn a little bit more, um, well, brighter for starters, but also pink, while the shadows will turn a little bit more uh, towards blue. But without light or shadow, it's just purple, that's called the local color. And of course, that's if we have a warm light source. If we have a cool one, then uh, the opposite will be true. But we don't need to get bogged down into all this color theory right now. Today, we're just painting a rabbit. Like a fool, I went straight into the details with uh, my shadows. Uh, you saw me just start with the face. I always say uh, start with your big areas of shadow first and then go smaller and smaller, but do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Moving into highlights. I was trying out doing the highlights by using, I believe, an overlay layer. But I didn't quite like it, so I ended up just color picking uh, the color on just the areas that I wanted uh, the highlight to go on. And then I just made that color a little bit brighter and a little bit more uh, warm. And then I just painted it in. It can be nice to add some gray into brown fur because uh, fur tends to have a lot of color variation into it. And it just it gives it that sort of a feel. It's a nice touch. Doing the embroidery, I just did some flower looking shapes using some uh, zigzaggy lines to give it that embroidery feel. And uh, I noticed that the original had a lot of different flowers and um, fauna it looked like, so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing it all in one color first because I thought it would be easier that way, and then I'm just locking the layer and painting the rest of the color on top. So 
So, believe it or not, but we're actually on a time lapse right now. I don't usually draw my images just all in one go because they take too long. I don't really know how long this painting took, but what you see with like my little text notes is just me wrapping up a painting session and leaving little notes for myself so I won't forget what I was doing when I get back to it. That's where I thought I was finished. And uh, a few months went by, I adopted two bunnies. I'm a bun parent now. Uh, but then I realized something. Rabbits do not have paw pads. Okay, where are those paw pads? This has bothered me for months. The list here is part of your household. He is quick on his feet and summons to jot down notes in seconds. He scribbles down anything and everything so that you will never have to forget a thing. Among his lists are shopping lists, to-do lists, memory notes, but also a list of all your favorite memories, a list of everything you love, and a list with all the names of the people who love you so you will always remember them. All right, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please tell me your favorite animal and maybe I'll draw it next time. All right, bye.